Hi guys, welcome back to Funky Toy Trunk. I'm Funky Dad, and today I'm here to show you guys some of our favorite Nightmare Before Christmas statues. These are things that we have um, around our house, where, where we live, um, and these are some of our favorites. So I wanted to show you guys um, some of these things that we have here. Um, so first we have, if you guys actually have, um, if you happen to see one of our other uh, videos, this statue here um, is was actually from mine and Coffee Mom's wedding. Um, this was a gift from one of our best friends, and uh, we had this out uh, right next to where people signed the autograph book. I really love the jack-o'-lantern down here. Uh, that's a very nice addition to the piece that didn't need to be there, but it just adds so much color to it. Uh, but one of my favorite parts, watch, this is really cool. One of my favorite parts, if I turn this to the side, you can see that zero is going through the gravestone. See how it's got, if you look, turn to the back, it's got the back, it's got his tail, and he's going through the gravestone to the front. And he's, uh, you can, he's a bit translucent, like you can see through him. So it gives him that very cool ghostly appearance. It's got the little jack-o'-lantern nose on him there. And he just, he looks so happy. I mean, how can you not want to smile when you see Zero? He's just amazing. And I love the look that Jack and Sally are giving, giving each other, just a very affectionate look. One of the other things I really like is that these things down here are actually metal. Um, can you hear that? So that's not like there's plastic. Like the, this piece just is made so well. It's it's so heavy too. Like this thing is just really, really heavy. Like if you see if I kind of rock it there, like how heavy this thing really is. It's just such a well made and, and finely crafted piece. The next one I want to call out here is this Jack and Sally cookie jar. There aren't any cookies in it right now. But, uh, you know, this is one of the pieces that we have uh, in our kitchen. Um, and sometimes it holds cookies, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, more often than not, it actually, you know, usually doesn't hold things because we don't want it to get very dirty. Um, but if I you turn it around here, um, one of the things I like is that you can see their feet down there. See, see how they're, they're kneeling down and uh, you can see that their feet are coming out the back and also that zero wraps all the way around it to the front. See? The family pet. Just just like the Funky family, we have our pet. Again, they have a very affectionate look on their face there. Um, I love Sally's red hair. It's just, it's so vibrant. It just kind of jumps out. One thing that is kind of interesting about this piece is that it looks like there was some green paint that kind of got away. Uh, from, from the person who was painting it. I don't know if you, can, if you guys can see there, but there's some green splotches. So I think that the person who was painting it maybe was trying to do it a little too quickly, but you don't even notice unless you're looking really closely. This is from um, the, one of the super ultimate special editions of The Nightmare Before Christmas. And one of the things that I really love about this statue is that it talks. There's got to be a logical way to explain this Christmas thing. I agree, Jack. To the head of the team, Zero. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I love that those are actually from the movie. Sometimes when they do those, they, they will pay a voice actor to come in and do it, and then they pay him less. But these actually were from the movie. That's what I love about it. Merry Christmas. So you might be saying like, okay, well, that's cool that this was, this was a statue. Um, but if this was a special edition from the movie, where's the movie? Well, I'm glad you asked because if we turn him around and we pull on this little, this little coffin right here and out comes a couple of things. Um, one is the movie. So this is what the movie came in. This is a, as you guys can see here. Um, so I don't think they're, I think they're both somewhere else, but the, the movie came in this really cool little Santa package here. So this is this is the DVD case. And it also came with, so here's the uh, the little uh, booklet. It shows you uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, uh, the collector's edition. 
And on the back, it's got Jack and Sally in front of the moon. And here it tells you uh, all of the scenes. Uh, this is just kind of, you know, filler stuff. And it also has all the lyrics for the song, such as, which is one of the uh, unique things about this one. So you can sing along as you are watching the movie. And then on the final page here, it has kind of this uh, making of The Nightmare Before Christmas, kind of a little like companion guide to as you're watching the movie. And you can kind of read along and, and see, um, you know, what was going on behind the scenes when they were making it. And finally, this is one of my favorite things about this collector's edition. Oh my gosh, you guys are gonna love this. Okay, check this out. You can transform regular Jack into Santa Jack. <laughs> Look, it's got, not only does it have the hat, but it has his fake beard too, which kind of looks like a bib, uh, but Again, just I love that there is this this attention to detail on it, and they could have very easily just shipped the statue by itself. But the fact that you can transform him after Halloween, and then for November and December, we have Jack looking uh, like Sandy Claus, um, just just amazing. Okay, and finally, um, I don't think this is even going to fit on the table. <laughs> if I put it on the table, he's a little too tall, but. Um, this actually came from Disneyland. This was a birthday gift from Coffee Mom. And I mean, as you can see, this thing is like two feet tall, possibly even more. It's really heavy. Ugh. This, this was being sold in one of the Main Street stores uh, on Disneyland. And I think there was a couple of times actually where I went back into the store, like I saw it, I went back into the store, left, went back into the store again, and when I wasn't looking, <laughs> Coffee Mom went and made the purchase and had it uh, sent back to the room, so I didn't even know that she bought it until later on. Um, but turning over to the back, um, you can see that it's got a jack-o'-lantern on the, on the back there, a stone jack-o'-lantern. Um, these are all actual grooves on here, by the way. These aren't just, you know, painted on. The landscaping down here, like it looks like somebody actually took a fork and kind of like scraped across it there. I love that it encompasses Jack's inquisitive uh, nature. Um, he's just, he's so curious, right? I mean, that's, that's what most of the movie's about. He's just, he's so curious. He wants to know about this thing and he's constantly thinking and pondering. And uh, I think that's also why I think we get along uh, very well. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you love The Nightmare Before Christmas like I do, be sure that you subscribe and like to this channel, and we will be showing you lots more Nightmare Before Christmas stuff here on Funky Toy Truck. Thanks for watching.